Hello everyone, today I will be teaching you guys math KSSN form for chapter 4 which is operations on sets. First of all, what is intersection of sets? The intersection operation is denoted by the symbol intersection. We read A intersection B or the intersection of A and B. It is defined as the set composed of all elements that belong to both A and B. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A intersection B then the answer is 3. The universal set equal X is an integer 1 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 50. Set A equal to X is a positive integer such that X power of 3 less than 50. Set B equal to X is a multiple of 4. Set A has elements S, 1, 8, 27. 64 cannot be answered because we need to find x less than or equal to 50. 64 is greater than 50. Set B has elements S. For 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. Now put these numbers in these two circles. We need to find the answer of A intersection B. So the answer is 8. What is union of sets? The symbol union is employed to denote the union of two sets. We read as a union B or the union of A and B. It is defined as the set that consists of all elements belonging to either set A or set B or both. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A union B then the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The universal set equal X is an integer 1 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 50. Set A equal to X is a positive integer such that X power of 3 less than 50. Set B equal to X is a multiple of 4. We've just got the numbers of set A and set B. Now write the numbers in the circles. We need to find the answer of a union B. So the answers are 1, 8, 4, 27, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. Let's take a look extra knowledge. What is subset? In set theory, a subset is denoted by the symbol subset and read S is a subset of. Using this symbol, we can express subsets as follows this, which means set X is a subset of set Y. Let's say example 1. If set X has elements S, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and set Y has elements S, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then set X is subset of B, E, because all elements of set X and set Y are same. Let's say example 2. If set X has elements S, A, B, C, D, E, and set Y has elements S, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then set X is subset of Y because elements of X are also present in set Y. What is proper subset? If set X is a subset of the set Y, but the X not equal to Y, thus say that X is a proper subset of Y, contains some, but not all. Say, if set X has elements S, A, B, C, and set Y has elements S, A, B, C, E, H, then set X is the proper subset of Y because A and H are not present in the set X. What is empty set? 
The empty set is the set that has no elements at all. It is denoted by this. If t equal to zero, then we also write t is empty set. Thus, these two symbols have the same meaning, which is empty set. How to determine the complements of the intersections and unions of two or more sets using Venn diagram? A picture that depicts all the possible outcomes for an experiment. A closed geometric shape, such as a rectangle, a square, or a circle. Let's do some exercise. Find A intersection B complement. Then the answer is 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Question 2. Find A intersection B intersection C. Then the answer is 5. Question 3. Find a union B complement. Then the answer is 7, 8. Question 4. Find a union B union C. Then the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Set A has elements S. 1, 8, 27. Set B has elements S. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. Set C has elements S. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now put these numbers in these two circles. Find a union B union C and A intersection B intersection C. Then, the answer of a union B union C are numbers from all sets. A intersection B intersection C is 8. What is combined operations on sets? The set operations are performed on two or more sets to obtain a combination of elements as per the operation performed on them. In a set theory, there are two major types of operations performed on sets, such as union of sets, union, and intersection of sets, intersection. Find N, J union K, intersection L complement. J union K, intersection L complement, has elements S, 3, 4, 5, then we need to plus all the numbers together because N means how many? N equal 3 plus 4 plus 5, the answer is 12. The Venn diagram below shows the number of elements for sets J, K, and L, where the universal equal to J union K union L. Given that n universal equal to 20, count. Question A, find the value of x. 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 2x plus x plus 3 equal to 20. 3x plus 11 equal to 20. 3x equal to 9. x equal to 9 over 3. x is 3. Find n. J union K intersection L. Then 1 plus 6 plus 7 plus 3, the answer is 17. The diagram below shows a Venn diagram such that the universal set psi equals J union K union L. On the diagram in the answer space, shade the region that represents. Question 1 J intersection K complement. So the answer is this. Question 2. J complement intersection K union L dot so be like this. In a group of 100 students, 35 students like lemons, 
26 students like strawberries only and 24 students like lemons and strawberries. Question A. Calculate the number of pupils who like lemons only. So 35 students like lemons minus 24 students like lemons equal to 11. Question B. Complete the Venn diagram in the answer space based on the information given. One hundred students minus eleven students like lemons minus twenty four students like lemons and strawberries minus twenty six students like strawberries equal to thirty nine. So the Venn diagram would be like this. Question C. Calculate the total number of pupils who do not like strawberries. So the eleven students like lemons plus thirty nine students did not choose equal to 50. The incomplete Venn diagram below shows the number of students in a group of 40 students who take biology, B, physics, F, and chemistry, K. Given that the universal set, psi equals B union, if union, K where B equals, pupils who take biology, F equals, pupils who take physics, and K equals, pupils who take chemistry. 24 students take physics and 21 students take only two subjects. Question A. Calculate the values of P and Q. P is inside the set F is physical. So P equal to 24 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6. The answer is 9 because 24 students is the entire number of physics. Let's find the Q. 40 is the complete number of students already given. So 40 minus 8 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 9 equal to 1. Questions B. Calculate the total number of pupils who take only one subject. So 8 plus 7 plus 9 equal to 24. Question C. Count the total number of pupils who take biology or chemistry. So 8 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 1 plus 7 equal to 32. Thank you guys for watching.